Hey guys, uh, Frank here. So today we will be checking out the uh, the GT assembly line. To assemble our bikes, we need to assemble each part of the bike individually and then put them together. And right here you can see that we are preparing the wheel components. And this team of two, as you can see, is preparing the rear wheel. And meanwhile, the front wheel is being prepared by this lady here. Uh, she's installing the reflector, the brake pads. A wheel cover is also added to keep the wheel clean during assembly and uh, packaging. And now we move on to the front fork. The suspension fork is initially taken out of the box and disassembled for later installation. And at the same time, this team of three is preparing the handlebar, uh, the installing the gear shifter, the brakes, cables, and display. Uh, she's making sure that the handlebar and the stem is at the right angle. And then after she will put the handlebar in another box alongside with the brakes. Where this next person will be installing the grips, the reflector and the gear shifter. And then at the last step, we'll make sure that the handlebar is ready to be used, that everything is securely placed. And now with the individual parts prepared, it is time to assemble the frame. The Bully GT frame consists of three separate components. The seat, which is what you're seeing right now, the swing arm and the main frame. Especially start by connecting the rear seat part and then the rear swing arm. They also put a cover to protect the saddle. And now we are installing rear suspension on the swing arm. Uh, the suspension is about 1200 pounds per inch. And here you can already see that uh, the seat, the main frame, and the uh, swing arm has been put together already. And they are installing the cable guides inside the bike. And now they are installing the crank and the electric sensor on the bottom bracket. So making sure that the cranks and the chain ring are securely placed. And now the frame is being put on the assembly line. Uh, they're just installing the itty bitties on the bike. At this step, the bike is flipped upside down to facilitate the assembly process. And after installing all the rear wheel, the cables, you know, uh, the rear tail lights, 
uh, the bike is then taken off the assembly line. This is where they install the suspension fork, the front wheel, the handlebar, and cables. And now the bike returns to the assembly line. This part is where we are going to make the bike electric. At this point, you can pretty much ride it as a regular bike. And here they are connecting and installing the electric cables. Uh, to the connector and to the electric motor. We also apply protective wrapping around the cables to keep them organized and protected. And now we are installing the dual battery module. The GT actually has an expandable battery design. Uh, as you can see on the bottom, that's where the smaller battery will be installed. The 20 amp hour version doesn't have the smaller battery module, but you can always upgrade it later on. Here we are connecting the controller and inserting it in the controller box in the bottom bracket. And now we are going to install the hydraulic brakes. At this point, the bike is pretty much assembled. The next step will be quality inspection. 